Hello everyone, this is Miss Lena Aude and this is English for Grade 11. Welcome to the beginning of the year, starting with the first unit. I have already explained what the first unit is mainly about. Now, it's our weekly video, uh, which we're going to be calling weekly. Uh, it's going to be talking about what we discuss in every single day. So let's just start with Unit 1, Writing Freedom, Week 1, Grade 11. Day one and two, as you know, is icebreakers. I'll get to know you all. You get to know me. I know some of you do not know me. I, I might not know some of you. Uh, I will introduce you to the content itself, to the outline, everything that you can need for, uh, to actually take the journey with me for English. You will be first uh, introducing yourselves to me, and then you'll be introducing yourselves to one another. Then you will be engaging in some classroom rules activities because, you know, we need to set you on rules. And then you will participate in different activities. It is mainly going to be about writing, speaking, and all the skills required for English. Do not worry, it's going to be so fun. And then for days three and four, we're going to be having launch text argumentative. Are we allowed to be given uh, full freedom or limited freedom? Uh, the objectives that are going to be discussed are as follows. You will explore the notion of freedom in general and American freedoms in specific. You will deepen your perspective of the American freedoms by reading, writing, speaking, listening, and presenting. We'll apply writing an argumentative piece. It might be very short, but it, we will take it extended in two weeks. Uh, the words that we're going to be learning this particular week is claims, reasons, evidence, joint, counterclaim, counter and rebuttals. These are the concepts that we are going to be using as well in our writing of argumentative essays, argumentative pieces, and actually we can do them in debates and everything that is uh, yeah, that has a discussion in. Uh, here are some uh, uh, activities that we will be uh, doing in our classes. And the first one is in what ways is concept of no taxation without representation central to America's identity as a nation? Write your, uh, I want you to write your responses and then discuss them, which means you will be able to write your argumentative piece and then uh, you will present it in front of the students. The second one, we're going to be talking about the four freedoms that Roosevelt mentioned in the States. And then uh, you will have uh, to read the Bill of Rights for the U.S. Constitution. And you will actually watch a video about Boston Tea Party, which took place in Boston in the States. Day five, which is the last day, is going to be synonyms. Uh, very, very easy and is going to be full of um, activities. Uh, you're going to acquire and use accurately a range of general academic and domain specific words and phrases sufficient for reading, writing, speaking and listening. You will demonstrate independence in gathering vocabulary and knowledge when encountering an unknown term important to comprehension or expression by studying the synonyms of the words. You will determine or clarify the meaning of unknown and multiple meaning words and phrases by using context clues, analyzing meaningful word parts, and consulting general and specialized reference materials as appropriate. So what are the key terms uh, we are to learn in this lesson? Uh, synonyms, antonyms, thesaurus, interpretation, and context clues. That's it for now. Keep, um, meet me next time, next week, week two. Bye for now.